right, today Coco Pazzo for the cafe. We're gonna go ahead and do a little soft shell crab with a spicy tomato sauce and an arugula salad topped with flash fried leeks. Um, very simple, start to finish, taking more than about three or four minutes. We're gonna start with a little bit of straight olive oil, just a touch of puree garlic. Make sure not to burn it. Lightly brown for a roasted flavor to it. Just a little bit of canned puree tomatoes. They've been cooked down for about, ooh, 20 minutes before we actually get going to it. Add in just a touch of fresh parsley and salt to flavor. The salt we use here at the restaurant is actually kosher salt, is not the regular super fine salt. Total time to reduce this will take us about, oh, probably about a minute or so. These are beautiful Chesapeake soft shell crabs that have been cleaned, the tail's been removed. The inside lung, so you make sure when you are frying it, there's no air inside the pockets of these things and actually explode on you when you're at home. So make sure they are cleaned very well. Add just a touch of salt to the outside. Both sides. Lay them in the fryer. Do a little flip on them. Make sure you get both sides. Trick to doing these. Hot fire, and make sure you don't overcook them. If you overcook them, all the meat inside actually will almost evaporate. It'll overcook, and there won't be anything left of the crab. Make sure you don't undercook them, otherwise it's the most disgusting thing you've ever had in your entire life. Put them on a clean towel. You can use paper towels at home if you like. Sauce is ready. Put about three tablespoons of sauce in the middle. Just want to move it around a little bit. Here we have a lightly dressed arugula salad with just a touch of lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil. Touch of salt. And the two crabs. Now to garnish this way here we have on the side, we have a little bit of fresh fried leeks um, to top it off with. You could use fresh parsley, I prefer the leeks. This is a finishing touch for this plate. And this is one of our summer dishes at Coco Pots for our outdoor cafe.